As you know, today would have been Mantic Night. We'd have been at Adepticon sharing pictures and chatting to everybody and having great fun, a few beers and lots of gaming until late in the evening. Not only that, on the other side of the pond, uh, Sharon would have been running Border Conflict, which was a sellout Vanguard tournament, which would have been held at Mantic HQ. Um, lots of things that just simply aren't possible, but we will not let that stop us. The show must go on. So welcome to finding out about everything Kings of War. First up, amazing few months since launch. It's a hugely exciting and frightening time since when a new edition comes out. And we've been very pleased with how everybody's picked up third edition. Um, overwhelmingly positive feedback. A few little niggles as you always get with a whole new edition where a few things tweak and there's been some month things about War, fighting war machine armies and little things like that that will be picked up and looked at. But on the whole, fantastic. We've got the book out, hardback format, lots of great little bits and bobs. Um, and on top of that, we've also had the Uncharted Empires, which gives those people who insist on using outdated, outmoded armies from strange and unusual places the chance to still play the game, because most importantly is the community and people enjoying and playing Kings of War. So it's been great. Recently, we have worked with a wonderful chap over at Easy Army, and he has sorted out, and we've now got an Easy Army, both a free-to-use, uh, pop on and do your army, but also a subscription model, which allows you to save up to 100 army lists and, and upload photographs and do all manner of cool things, and we'll keep building that facility. So Easy Army is, is underway and playing. The Abyssal Dwarfs, the first time baddie dwarfs have ever been done in hard plastic. They are shipping now. They went out first with Vanguard and have been hugely successful there. We've been very pleased with that. And that's been fantastic fun and, and lots of people getting involved. And now the Abyssal Dwarf Army and Mega Army are either shipping now or due to ship in the next couple of weeks. They're certainly going out very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for those and let's hope that hard plastic... Abyssal Dwarf on a gaming table near you soon. We've also been doing lots of infilling, so you've probably seen some of these fantastic models that have been coming out and are coming out for the Night Stalker armies and Northern Alliance armies and uh, more to come. Well of Lost Souls is just around the corner. So infilling, making sure that every unit is available for every part of the armies, for every army. Started primarily with the hardback book. New armies coming out all the time. And most excitingly, a huge vibrant game community accessing online tools so fantastic launch but what's coming next i hear you ask well before we know it we're going to be plowing into a great big kings of war summer campaign this has a great big juicy gorgeous book with a story written by mark latham uh the new characters are coming all with their own backstory the abyssal dwarfs are unleashing a load of magic from underneath the halpy mountains so on a gaming side Magic's going to be kind of running wild as they've been unlocking this magic vein and it's going to be blasting out there. And I know some of you have been asking what that number is on the magic users. Well, all will become clear when the summer campaign book comes out. So there's narrative, fluff and background, which will all be wanted to participate in, uh, read. There's going to be new rules. Generally in the summer book, we try out things a little bit quirky, a bit different. Um, and then we lock them down in the Clash of Kings book at the end of the year if we like them or have finessed them. Uh, there's some new magic themed scenarios written by the RC. So there's a couple of scenarios which are magic centric. But there's also going to be a summer campaign and a whole load of narrative play. Now, while I understand you weird and strange tournament sort players, nutters like me like just playing beautiful battles for fun and with lovely terrain and lovely painted figures and so on. And those doubting Thomases that thought the dwarves would never be. Well, this is a fraction, a fraction of all those that are painted. It might be quite a large fraction, but let's not dwell on the details. So uh, there's going to be an online hub for people to uh, log their games. Um, more details coming soon. But as you know, whenever we create something cool, then that gets locked into the history. So this narrative will become and form part of the next um, timeline, and the timeline will keep moving on. So do participate. Your faction might become tougher or stronger or weaker, or depending on how they do. One of the other things that's definitely going to inform the narrative, because it's my game, and I'll do what I damn well want with it, is um, I'm going to be arranging to have a huge, that's a huge, eight, 10,000 point battle per side here, probably over the weekend of Salute. 
because we're not going to go down to Salute either. That's just been cancelled, which is a big UK gaming event. So my dwarfs, Berman's dwarfs, and a few other assorted dwarf probably the studio dwarfs will be taking on an abyssal dwarf army and we're running a narrative campaign so if you tap into my facebook or the uh, magic games facebook i'm going to be keeping updates there where i'm going crazy building terrain for that adding a unit or two to my army uh, but of course never finishing the dwarf army because we know what happens then there's two reasons i got more to do one if i actually finished my dwarf army something catastrophic would happen to the world or me or something bad because it's just after eight years it simply can't be and um exciting stuff some of the other things with the summer campaign we're also going to put out these fantastic and useful template measuring sticks so that you can measure exactly your your range distance obviously a dwarf oh, would never move that far but you know you from to there um those are coming your tokens with these lovely images so they can really see what they are matching up so great set of lovely beautiful tokens and your arc there for your 45 degrees so um great cool things like that coming out alongside our huge big summer of fun Next announcement saddens me greatly, but under duress and pressure, I've given in to Rob Goblin King Berman. Do make him dress up as David Bowie from Labyrinth sometime soon. Um, but we can announce that we have hard goblins, hard plastic goblins on the way. Updating the old sprue. These look absolutely gorgeous. We always loved our aesthetic. I don't think we pulled it up off well enough with our last plastics. So we have now updated the plastic sprue. You can build sharp sticks, rabble and splitters I don't know what they are. As far as I'm concerned, they're just units that you can kill by by the drove. So, green skins that die. Uh, there's new mounted hero miniatures, the Wiz, the Flagit, the Bigot. Mounted, looking absolutely fantastic. Some beautiful, beautiful sculpts coming there. They'll be coming out in resin. And there is indeed a new diorama featuring a named Goblin Wizard. Wiz, as they're known. And some gauntlets that will play a key part in the summer campaign. A limited edition resin piece coming out. So good fun for all things and green skinned and hooky nosed. Now, the diorama is actually a goblin versus a something. I can't really say what the something is, but they like cheese. They've been slaves of the Abyssal Dwarfs for quite some time and go, eek, we have them in the Warpath universe. They might be coming to Kings of War after all this time. Keep watching, it's going to be a fun, fun, fun year for Kings of War. Thanks everybody.